One of the features that's unique to the PlayStation 4 controller is the small space that is a touchpad. It's both clickable and swipeable. I've already seen some very interesting examples of how it affects gameplay, particularly in Killzone. We decided to ask a handful of developers to see how they're taking this new asset on the controller and using it to their advantage in their games. My name is Jared Gerritsen. I'm uh, the developer of Blacklight Retribution on the PlayStation 4, and we're using the touchpad for doing taunts against players that you just killed, as well as checking the score uh, and uh, pulling out other items that we ran out of buttons for uh, with the previous version of the game. And we're also allowing you to view your customization and spin your gun around, as well as your character, using the touchpad. So we're really excited about it, and uh, that's what we're starting off to work with with our beta. So hi, my name is Ember. I'm a production manager on Assassin's Creed 4 Backpack, and I'm going to show you the touchpad on PS4. So I'm going to take the map, go to the reach icon that is here, Oops. put a marker on it, then go back, and you can see that now we have it on the mini-map. What I can also do is going back to the map, and zoom in, zoom out, to be able to see, for example, what is around me and see the huge world that we have in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. So one of the cool things we did is it included all the Star Lab missions, including the DLC, and for a bunch of them we went ahead and updated it to use the PS4 touchpad. So I'll show you one of the Red Sun missions uh, updated to use the touchpad control. So with the scenario missions, they're all these sort of fun, bite-sized little mini-games, so the touchpad is perfect uh, and feels really good uh, as a control method to sort of try out some new stuff. So, as you can see, instead of the usual X and Y, it asks you to flick to continue. And then as the rockets are coming down, you use the touchpad to flick and make them explode in sort of this missile command style game. The touchpad's really responsive, uh, it actually feels really good. So. Uh, we're really proud of it. So it's the new select button in gameplay, as well as sending receivers in motion prior to the snap. I'm going to select Anquan Bolden over to the right, a wide receiver. I'm going to swipe the touchpad. You can see Anquan Bolden going in motion the way that I swiped across the touchpad. And I'm going to run my play. Another way it's used is the select button, so the most important thing in gameplay that the select button is used for is timeout. We, we uh, took the approach that simple would be a lot easier. I mean, we, we, we kind of worked with a lot of different um, scenarios on how we were going to use this. But essentially, when I'm on offense or on defense, I can actually just call um, uh, quick plays I can actually change my defense. So if I if I'm scrolling uh, this way, it'll change to uh, one three one um, and two three or three two zone uh, or man to man. So the additional thing that you can do is press down on the button, and it'll bring up your rhythm icons, and those will kind of explain to you whether a particular player is feeling good about his defense, his shooting, um, and his uh, and his passing at that particular moment in time. Here we are with the game. We're uh, showing the PlayStation 4, obviously. And in the game, we use the touchpad on the PlayStation 4 controller to control the map. So uh, the player, any time, can uh, bring the map up at the press of a button. And with touch controls, they can then scroll around the map and select options on it. And then I can just like click. We'll go, yes, we're going to go there. Away you go. If you think this is the only thing I'm talking about, you're crazy because we've been doing a lot on the PlayStation 4. Check out all of our coverage right here.